My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with a Flash Leather Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. This is episode number 39 of the 120 Days to Jam Chemistry with Flash ID. In this episode, we shall be looking at the various laboratory apparatus and their uses. Various apparatus used in the lab and what they are used for exactly. Because questions like this comes out in jam yearly. You will be asked, what is the role of a film cupboard? Then you will be wondering, which topic is this from? So at the end of this class, you are going to learn a lot of things that will help you to pass jam. The first apparatus is the Bunsen burner. The Bunsen burner is used for heating and for exposing items to flames. Then we have the burette. The burette is used in acid-based titration to measure the volume of acid. Kipps apparatus is used for preparation of gases which are needed intermittently. For example, we use Kipps apparatus to prepare hydrogen sulfide, H2S. We use Kipps apparatus to prepare carbon dioxide, and we use Kipps apparatus to prepare hydrogen gas. Film cupboard is the chamber for producing poisonous gases in the lab. So to produce poisonous gases in the lab, we use the film cupboard. Meanwhile, spatula is used for carrying small amount of solids from one point to another. You fetch, you carry like this, you drop. That is the role of spatula. Hoofman's voltameter is used in electrolysis of water to produce hydrogen gas and oxygen gas, H2 and O2. Calorimeters are used for measuring enthalpy change, that is, heat change of chemical reactions, while desiccators are used for drying various substances. Pipette or pipette is used for measuring a fixed volume of base in acid-base reaction. This carries the base. And we have trapping reagents. In the lab, trapping reagents are used to trap various substances. For example, to remove oxygen from air or to trap oxygen from air, we use the alkaline pyrogallo or heated copper. These are the trapping reagents for oxygen. The other trapping agents Jam expects you to know are caustic soda. NaOH is referred to as caustic soda. That is the common name. Sodium hydroxide is caustic soda. Why potassium hydroxide? You can call that caustic potash. Caustic soda or caustic potash are used to trap carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide from gaseous mixtures. Now, heated copper or alkaline pyrogallo is used to trap oxygen from gaseous mixture. Quick lime. Calcium oxide is referred to as quick lime. That is the common name. Quick lime. Tetra acid H2SO4. Calcium chloride CaCl2 are used to trap water vapor. Water in gaseous state. That is what they are used to trap. Then acidified copper 2 tetra is used to trap phosphine or pH. Crucibles are used for heating small amount of substances at very very high temperature. Wire gaze are used to spread the heat that are being produced so that they become uh, uniform. Wash bottle is used for dispensing small amount of distilled water. Beaker is a liquid measuring instrument. You pour liquid in it, you measure the quantity. Lebis condenser is used to cool down hot vapor or liquids. Meanwhile, droppers are used to drop uh, substances little by little liquids, especially in your acid-based reaction. So to drop the 
liquid in the indicator and the color of the indicator will determine what the substance is. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you found this class interesting the various laboratory apparatus. See you in the next episode.